The Yamaha R6 was an iconic super sport motorcycle that was loved by many, but it was discontinued in 2020. Now I've got more bad news for you. Yamaha just discontinued the legendary R1. Say it ain't so, but I'm going to tell you why. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, all of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Unfortunately, it's true. Yamaha decided to discontinue the R1. Now, that's for the European market only at this time, and that's mainly because of Euro 5 emissions compliance and declining sales in the Superbike segment. However, they will offer a track-only R1 for 2025 in the European market only. Now, it had the R1 has not been discontinued here in America yet, but you can count on it that it will because Yamaha is deciding not to make a new R1 for 2025. So the last new R1 is going to be the current 2024 R1. So you better pick one up now because it may be worth something in the future. Uh, from my understanding, Yamaha will be transitioning towards mid-capacity offerings over high-end liter class bikes. Like I said, mainly because of declining sales in the super bike segment. And from my understanding, they're going to make the new R9 that's coming out their flagship bike, which is based on the MT-09's triple cylinder engine. Much like the R7 is based on the MT-07's uh, CP2 engine. So those are going to be your two, pretty much two track bikes is going to be the R7 and the R9. That's kind of unfortunate, but you know, a lot of people are not riding super sports and super bikes on the streets anymore. Uh, back in the day they did, like myself, back in 2012 when I started my YouTube channel, a lot of us were riding super sports and super bikes out on the street because they didn't really have many cool naked offerings back then now they have a whole slew of various naked motorcycles that are tuned for the street and some of them are just as powerful as the super bikes uh, but way more comfortable and tuned for the street with a lot of bottom end grunt and, and torque and strong mid-range power that we want out here on the street and, and you can ride those at the track as well and most of us are, are too cheap for the track at least i can speak for myself I've been talking about doing a track day since 2012, man. But I'm just too cheap to pay several hundred dollars to go ride at the track. And then, of course, you crash your bike at the track. Your warranty is, is not going to be honored because it was ridden at the track. Uh, so then you'll be fixing your bike up and it's more expense. And for what, man? You know, it's just, you know, the track riding is a rich man's uh, hobby. Most of us are riding these naked bikes on the street. You know, I... I, I sold my super bike and I got a, I went, actually I had an MT-09 and I went down to an MT-07 because the, the, it's just too much, the super bikes have just way too much power for the streets and that you never use. To me, the MT-07 is perfect for the streets. It's got that great bottom end grunt and mid range and super lightweight and just super comfortable and, and feels great around town. Um, so I can understand why Yamaha made this decision uh, to discontinue the R1. Um, I went into the dealership the other day, which I showed you. I went shopping for a bike, and I, the place was loaded uh, with super bikes and super sports, man. Because uh, nobody's, like I said, nobody's riding these bikes on the streets too much anymore. I mean, you may have some of the youngsters out there that haven't got the, you know, got the speed out of their blood yet, and they're out there speeding on the streets. But you get to a point where you get tired of tickets, and uh, and then possibly losing your license and your bike impounding, going through all of that. Um, for what, man? It, it gets lame after a while. And yeah, once you speed on the highway, doing hitting triple digit speeds after a while, it's like, okay, so what? You know, most of our riding, we ride out here in the city, and, you know, or out in the country or something. We, we don't really, we're not doing triple digit speeds too often to really justify a super bike. So this is very understandable for them discontinuing the R1. However, it's still sad because um, the R R1 is legendary, man. I mean, that, it's just same with the R6. It was really sad to see that go, but it's time. You know, it's it's, it's the end of an era, <laughs> and it's all about the uh, you know the naked street bikes now, guys, and all the other different types of bikes. Um, people just aren't buying 
the super sports and super bikes anymore. It's just, it's not worth it for the manufacturer to continue to produce these bikes that aren't selling. So it's all about supply versus demand. You know, um, it's just, it's a business. What can we say? Leave a comment below. And let me guys know uh, what you think of this, them discontinuing the R1. Like I said, it's for the European market only at this time, but I can almost guarantee you that it's going to happen here in America as well. That's why I said you better go ahead and get that new 2024 R1 if that's what you want. Um, it may be worth more in the future. I just want to tell you guys, I'm having a really tough time choosing a new motorcycle to get. Because I've had nearly every type of motorcycle. I've had over 12 bikes. I've gotten a new bike every year since 2012 since I've been on YouTube. Uh, the only type of motorcycle that I haven't had really is an adventure motorcycle. And I don't plan on doing any touring. And honestly, I'm not really all that excited about adventure motorcycles. Because I like the lightweight dual sports like my uh, custom YZ450FX Supermoto slash dual sport here. Um, a super lightweight, 200, what, 265 pounds, you know, versus a 400 plus, four, 500 pound adventure bike. Now they're great for cruising and touring and stuff, but like I said, I don't, I don't have any time to do touring right now because I'm renovating my house. And I tell, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm in love with these two bikes here. Um, I, I bought this September, 2022. So it's a little over a year that I've owned the MTL7. I absolutely love this bike. I love, of course, Supermoto's number one here. Um, I thought about doing another Supermoto build, but I've been there and done that. So it's not really adding anything new to the channel. And I don't know how many of you are Supermoto enthusiasts out there that would really appreciate those videos. I don't know. That's why I do these uh, a lot of these shopping videos I do with you. I, I want to go there and buy a bike, but I come out confused because there's so many cool bikes and I've had a lot of the bikes. And um, so I, I try to gauge your interest to kind of see where you guys want me to go with the next bike. Um, so that's why I, I keep going to those dealerships and I, I do have the intention of getting a bike, but I just always come out confused because I'm like, man, I've done I've had all the bikes really I wanted. <laughs> so I, I was like... I. I love these two bikes. I just want to keep these two bikes, but I do want to add another one. I don't, I want to actually add another motorcycle. I'm not, I don't want to get rid of these two. So as you can see, my garage is loaded. Uh, I've got e-bikes, you know, I did a slew of videos on e-bikes, reviews and, and e-scooters and everything. Man, I've done, I've done a lot guys, a lot of different types of bikes. And look at this, look at this, even a golf cart here, guys, a golf cart build. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another two e i got like five e-bikes and two e-scooters in here and a partridge in a pear tree man um i'm putting a new set of batteries in this bad boy and i'm gonna sell this golf cart i'm gonna make some some money i only paid 700 for this golf cart probably put no more than about 500 in it and i'm gonna probably sell it uh get some used batteries to throw in there and i'll probably sell it for probably about three four about three thousand maybe thirty five hundred maybe um, cause golf carts are quite popular and that's pretty sick the way I, you know, I put a stereo system in there. I put the lights, the roof rack up here and everything, man. So I got to get this crap out of here, man. Sell some of these e-bikes and stuff and, and make room so I can add another motorcycle in here. And also I'm looking to get a new truck, which I think I'm going to share the experience with you guys on, uh, on me searching for a new truck that I want to add. I'm not getting rid of my SUV. Um, but I wanted to add a look like a, a truck. And I want to get your feedback and opinion. Um, I'm thinking about getting a Toyota Tundra, maybe a single cab, like an older one, like a 2012 or something. I like them single cabs. They'll look pretty sick, man, like Tonka trucks. I don't really care about cars too much, but I do like pickup trucks. And I want to get a four-wheel drive, maybe do some off-road. And thought about getting a Tacoma. I looked at a crappy Nissan Frontier that was selling for cheap for $6,000. It was... Um, end up being garbage though it looked good and everything i took it to the nissan dealership for inspection and it, they said it need like eight thousand dollars in work <laughs> so a cheap man pays twice so i gotta be careful not going too cheap man but yeah i want to add a new motorcycle i want to get your opinion guys what do you think i should get so leave a comment tell me what would you like me to see see me do with this channel um I'd appreciate it. I love talking with you guys. That's what keeps me doing these videos. Make sure to hit thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos are released. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Deuces.